everybody was out of practice and did something and uh, got some work in. But we look forward to the challenge of playing uh, the Patriots. Um, you know, we know they're a heck of a football team. And, um, and so we've had a good week of practice uh, in preparation for them. So it should be an exciting game. Time, George. Start with Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. Coach, you've had a couple games now where you're playing in stadiums without fans. Are you at the point now with your guys where you say, hey, take advantage of these home games where you've got people in the stands? Yeah, that'll be good. Um, it'll be different now. I mean, you know, two weeks in, the, in a row that we haven't had anybody. But it's uh, we're glad to be here. And, uh, I mean, you know, we love our, our fans here and the support that they give us. So um, uh, that's a good thing. Yes. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Uh, Coach, is the expectation for Andrew Wiley to fill in the right guard position, or is that something you guys are, are still working through? Uh, he's worked in there all week. Yeah. So um, I, that's where that's where it'll be. Yeah. Let's go next to Harold Koontz. Go ahead, Harold. Hey, Andy, kind of a fun question for you. Eric Bienemy called that play smoked sausage to Anthony Sherman. I was wondering, he, but he wasn't clear on what Eric Fisher's play was. Did you, did you know the name of that play, per chance? We're trying to figure it out here. Yeah, catch and release, you know, the fish. So, And actually, that was EB's play. He had he'd been bugging on me about it since uh, we were on the plane coming back from the Chargers, that it would be a good one. So, yeah, yeah catch and release. Got two more hands up. Let's go Darren, then Todd. Go ahead, Darren. Hey, Coach, uh, good good afternoon to you. Uh, my question for you, you have a good relationship with Bill Belichick, at least I assume that you do. What are, what are your thoughts on on his, uh, his coaching this season? Obviously, the expectations without Tom Brady with so many players opting out uh, this season. To me, I think that this would be one of his finest uh, coaching, uh, you know, seasons ever. Just your thoughts on that. Yeah, no, I'd agree with you. He, he's a phenomenal coach. I mean, obviously a future Hall of Fame coach and uh, will go down as one of, the, one of the greats ever. So, um, I, I mean, I had no doubt that he would put together a good team. I mean, that's just, uh, you know, some fundamental football and that's what he does. Um, so he fits people into uh, different positions and plays to their strengths. We'll ask to Todd Levo. Go ahead, Todd. Coach, I know we talked about this a little bit earlier in the week with uh, the NFL. Got a couple of teams that are not going to be able to play this week and rescheduling some things. Now we've seen the the president and first lady coming down with coronavirus. You guys have done a really nice job with the messaging to your players. Has there been any more of it this week uh, since you've seen some more things happen around the league with that? Or do you guys kind of get the picture and you just keep doing the same thing? Yeah, I, Rick Burkle addressed the team about it and um, – uh, you know, and I talked a little bit about it early in the week. So uh, it's important that you stay up on it. I mean, that's, uh, and even when you do, things can happen. So we just, just gotta, you gotta do what you can to make sure that you keep yourself uh, right. 